here today on my channel. We are going to be taking a look at the recent past, the present, and the future. To book a private session, all of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. Let's get started. Spirit, please provide me with energies that surround Taurus in the recent past. What do we have in reference to energies that surround Taurus in the recent past? Spirit, talk to me about what Taurus needs to know. All right, so you have the Knight of Wands energy coming out here first with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands energy. What is that all about, Spirit? Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles. I still feel like you are leaving something, right? So there's someone that is going in one direction and I feel you going in the other, all right? This is two individuals parting ways. I feel like this is two different paths. You're understanding that this Knight of Wands, whomever they are, no longer serves you, whether it be a fire sign or not, okay? And they are off in their own direction. So this seems like you both are mutually understanding that it is what it is, and we're both going on our separate paths and in separate directions, okay? Tell me more about this Knight of Wands energy, okay? So we have the Page of Pentacles coming out here. There's something new that you are after, or I just feel like you're switching up your thought process. You are manipulating your thoughts in a way where you can have another opportunity for yourself. If you stay stuck in a certain mind frame, for example, if you keep thinking about a certain individual and you know what you and that person could be in the future, and if you're not getting any action from that person, then you're kind of keeping yourself stuck. But if you manipulate your mind to believe that there is other possibilities and a different direction that you're supposed to go in, then things become much easier for you. All right. I'm not saying that what you're trying to manifest in reference to a past person can't happen. What I'm saying is, is that you're just accepting that there's something new that you'd like to go after or you're just changing your mind because it's healthy right now. So changing our minds is a way to just help us feel better about something that doesn't seem to be going our way. And so when you change your perception on whatever it is that you're going through, you're able to heal a lot faster. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more. Talk to me about Taurus here. Talk to me about the recent past. Yeah. So the Ten of Cups, that new direction that you're choosing to go in, that new way of thinking that you are choosing to believe is what's going to lead to you ultimately being fulfilled. It is not this Knight of Wands, whomever this is. And you're understanding that. So for right now, like I was telling you yesterday, you're focusing on your work ethic, your job, the work that you're putting into yourself. Not all the time am I talking about where you go clocking at. You know what I mean? I just feel like you are choosing yourself over this Knight of Wands, okay? This is an energy that comes in and out. This is a playboy type of energy, someone who's inconsistent and at this moment is not able to give you what you're looking for, Taurus, right? So let, let's, let's look a little bit further into this Knight of Wands. Talk to me about this Knight of Wands spirit and why this energy is here. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords energy. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords energy there. The King of Swords and the Two of Cups. Yeah, I just feel like you're cutting that out of your life. It used to be something significant to you. It was important, but not anymore. Okay, and it's because, again, you are changing your mind. Okay, even if it was something that you really wanted, if you tell yourself there's something else for me, even if you're not ready, that mantra, right? You continuing to say that, eventually you will believe it, all right? And that's what will help you eventually move on from someone 
that doesn't seem to be stable, really. If you're showing up as this Knight of Wands, you're not a king and you're still playing games. So let's talk about the present. Talk to me about the present when it comes to an energy that surrounds Taurus. Talk to me about the present. A present energy that surrounds Taurus, please. Talk to me about the present. The world, you see? Something's over. That's it, you know. The cycle had to be completed, but I don't feel that you're so traumatized by leaving something in the past. You're accepting it. There's a difference. I feel like in the past, you might have been reluctant to accept something, but now you're okay with it. It's like, all right, I have a new path to go down and I'm excited about that. I don't feel bad for myself. I'm eager. I can't wait. Tell me more. Talk to me about, yeah, we have the Aries energy showing up here. And we also have this Capricorn energy showing up, all right? Right when you decide to change your mind, as I have been talking about, manipulating your thoughts to help yourself do better, this Aries energy wants to come right back around, okay? It's going to be up to you. Are you open to this person? Are you not open to them? Who is this fool? Spirit, clarify the fool here. We have the Eight of Swords energy. This just shows up to me as somebody who told you they didn't want to deal with you anymore and they're lying to themselves. I feel like they lied to themselves to do exactly what I'm telling you to do, Taurus. You know how I'm kind of telling you to manipulate your thoughts so that you can have some level of progression. I know that you're progressing anyway, but you have to really pull yourself out of thinking so deeply about something or someone that does not deserve your attention, right? So at some point, because of whatever it was that happened between you and somebody else, they manipulated their thoughts to believe that they didn't need you and that they didn't have to be around you and that they could go down a different path. Unfortunately, this person knows that they're choosing a wrong direction because I see them coming right back, all right? And it's because you're just not giving this person supply anymore. They don't have control over you. This is someone who likes for people to need them and you're not in that energy anymore because now you are going to be changing your mind. You're leveling up. And if they lost you, they did. That's it, but you're not sweating it. I don't feel you in this energy of, oh my God, what am I going to do? No, I feel like Taurus is moving on. Talk to me about the future. Spirit, talk to me about the future when it comes to this energy. Yeah, we have the 10 of swords in reverse that came out. Tell me more. Talk to me about the future when it comes to an energy that Taurus is dealing with, yeah. So as you can see, somebody here will low key be sad about the fact that you're no longer interested and you're choosing something else, someone else, right? Finding a different way to fill your cup and it's not with this person anymore. And because of that, they're in this four of cups energy. You won't know about it, right? I don't feel like they're going to tell you. You won't know about it until they show up in this full energy trying to come at you. In the present moment, I feel a lot of remorse from someone here, okay, with that Mars energy, wishing that they could break something, right? Because they, they see that you basically tied something up. And so what they want to do is unravel you in some way, but you're not allowing that. In the future, you have this hermit energy with the four of cups, somebody that's depressed, somebody that misses you, somebody that wishes things would have been different. 
but this is how people will learn their lesson. Let them live their lives, let them choose their paths, let them fake their story, because in the end, karma will allow people to have to sit in this Four of Cups energy in a level of regret, and that's how what goes around comes around, right? So that's what I'm getting from somebody around you who is not what you expected them to be, right? Anything else? Anything else for Taurus? Anything else here? Four of Cups again. Tell me more. What else do you need Taurus to know? The Six of Cups, the past person. You see what I'm saying? Like somebody will be in regret in the future here. You don't have to worry about them. You know, I feel that it seems like this person is really occupied right now or really busy. But when they go to sleep at night, I feel like you show up in their dreams and there's many things that will make them reminiscent of you. And that is a form of punishment, okay? So, you know, I feel like it, that's not you punishing them. No, their own psychology is punishing them, right? So they're the ones that are gonna have to live with that. Whether they decide to tell you about it in the future or not is one thing, right? But their psychology will do it to them. All right, that's what I have for you, Taurus. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.